are down. Yeah. Right in the middle of a big nowhere. On a lake, yes, but where's the lake? In the morning, if God will let the sun shine, you can take a shot with the octant and find out. Maybe. Now keep thinking so you won't be so cold. You gotta think of everything. There's about 30 gallons left in the tanks, maybe a little more. That's wonderful. You'll have a generator power for the radio. You can send a position from nowhere to somewhere. If you can get an engine started in this cold. Now the food. Three tins of salmon. Eight chocolate bars. Some sea rations. Two marmalade sandwiches left over from last night. One with a bite out of it. You gotta spread those out somehow. Make them last five men for maybe six days. But you gotta be careful. Awful careful. This is no raft floating on a warm sea. Keep your strength. It's the only chance against this cold. They're all dependent on you. And you gotta watch them because this night is gonna be the easiest. They ate today and they're still strong. But tomorrow, or the day after, they'll start getting ideas. Ideas about living. They'll want to set out on their own and find their way out of nowhere. Because they're human. But you can't be human. You gotta tell them every day that it can't be done. Tell them it'll be like a sickness, creeping. They'll want to lie down and rest and they won't ever get up. So find food, that's number one. Find out where nowhere is, that's number two. Then you can help the others find nowhere. Stanish, McMullen, Stutz, J.H. Handy and Willie Moon. They'll come, just like you told the others they'd come. They won't leave you alone waiting on a pinpoint nowhere. They'll come if it takes all winter. But you've only got six days. Oh, Father, who art in heaven. 